Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. It is a beautiful Saturday morning. Today, we got some work ahead of us. Uh, actually, uh, you guys didn't know, but I did put an air ride system in the bike, JNR, and we had some issues with the compressor last weekend. I haven't gotten that video up because my system crashed, so I'm waiting for my new computer to come in. Uh, thank you, Cycle Fanatics, John Bendars, for giving me all the information I need to get that going. But uh, yeah, this is what we're doing today, and we're just gonna take you along for this ride. All right, so here we are changing the compressor. Actually working out of our trailer today. Look how beautiful this is. Can't get a better scenery than this, right? <laughs> Alright, so what's going on here? You gotta just unclip it, all that stuff? Yep. Because I broke it when I put it in. You did what? <laughs> These things apparently are plastic and just really need to be tightened ever so slightly. Otherwise, you crack the housing. And I guess I, when I heard that pop, I guess that's what I did. So I guess it burnt out if it got a little water in it. I'm oh. not exactly sure, but okay. hoping that's the issue. What's the first thing a female notices? Man, it's dirty in there. <laughs> oh my gosh. But the female's the first one to say, clean my bike. <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting all in your grill here, okay? <laughs> If you guys have any questions definitely post them up on the comments um thank you to all my new subscribers i'm up 37 this week thank you to uh, cycle fanatics for uh giving me a little feature on his last video at the uh, bikes and breakfast at uh jd cycles down in pennsylvania that was pretty awesome i appreciate that uh. It's really hard to try to understand the mechanics of all of this, especially when you don't know, and I don't know. So I'm learning as I go. What's that piece? This is the compressor. Oh, I always thought it was that big, large piece that says J and R on That's it. That's a shock. Oh. So that's the problem? Yep. Hopefully. Where's the piece that you said you... Well, I tightened you it tightened down it here and probably cracked it in here somewhere. I don't know. I'll take it apart. that happens when you're on the road so the video that I'm gonna post up after this one because it happened before this obviously we got caught in the rain and um, we we're on the highway and I heard a huge pop and then I just felt myself going down 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 and we pulled over and the whole bike was down no air at all I don't see and, no cracks, uh, but... no cracks. I don't know. This got to be the problem, but I don't see no cracks in it. So, anyway, so we were eight. We were not able to pump it up. It just wouldn't go. Just a tiny bit, just enough to get us from Pennsylvania to Connecticut, and uh, it wasn't the best ride ever, but we made it in one piece. And uh, had to go ahead and have them send us another compressor. And you know our weekends, this is where we are on the weekend. We camp, we got that camp glamp life going on. <laughs> but uh, we also ride up here. We can get into New York really easily from here. It's beautiful riding up here um, through the town of Sharon into New York. Um, so we're kind of stuck today. We got to get this popping so we can see if we can get on the road.
Okay. Now this is the part you gotta be careful. What's going on with this here? Well, you don't want to tighten it too hard because you crack it. And I heard a pop, but I don't see a crack, so I don't know what the hell happened, to be honest with you. I put it on the wrong way. I wish I knew more so I could get in there and help you. <laughs> feel like I'm actually contributing. You're contributing right now with your good conversation. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> I think I need to take a, a class, a motorcycle, I don't know, repair mechanics. I don't know. I need to take something, guys. I hate feeling helpless. Oh, it just lines up with those uh, holes right there. Yeah. I'm going to try to upload this video on the uh, iMovie on my phone since I don't have my PC. I'm waiting on my new one that I just ordered. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> it's going right up from my phone. That tool that rolled away. Oh, where are you going, buddy? Come on now. That's a serious space right there. I wonder if you guys noticed something about me. I'm not going to tell you what it is. If you watched my videos, you should have noticed something about me immediately. <laughs> so you're a big pain in the ass. <laughs> I did something different for the summer. So let's see if you guys notice what it is. Not on the bike. <laughs> What is that? That's all plug and play right there? It just plugs in? Yeah. I just want to plug it in and try it. Try everything before I go tying everything up. Gotcha. We've done that before, I think, right? <laughs> Can you ask when you don't bring the right tools? I want to be involved and I want to learn, but I don't think I have the patience. Trying to use a regular Allen wrench because last time I used a so uh, ratchet and I busted it. So figure. So this is all your fault? Uh, apparently. Seems <laughs> to work. Apparently, it's all my fault. Everything's all my fault. Are you kidding me? Well, someone's got to take the blame. I didn't want to say, hey, my ass busted the compressor. <laughs> Which is what I originally thought. Oh, my God, I busted the compressor. <laughs> Apparently, that's it. Just tighten it down until it stops spinning. Scary. Pop! 
you son of a bitch. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to kill him. <sighs> You're an ass. That's it. All right. That's it. Let's see if this baby goes up and down. All right, guys, we're going to try this baby out. Hopefully it works. You good with the key? You ready? Yep. All right, here we go. This is a ride height repeater. You adjust it for how high you want it to go and stop. When so it hits how do you know part. what's the perf sweet spot? I... Well, the sweet spot is that your ass end is so long on this bike that when you come out of the trailer, you're damn near scrape. So I, the sweet spot is just enough so you don't scrape. Oh, okay. Because so I, I got the length in my legs, so I don't need it for that. You got the length, all right. <laughs> so you got to pump it down. I'll figure that out later. I just wanted to make sure it was working. I know it's working. Everything seems to be working. All right. Okay, guys. So we're going to put this bike back together real quick and hopefully see what's going on. Also, uh, yeah, let me show you another thing that happened really quickly here. Um, my throttle sticking. Look at that. So that was the problem. Remember I said, oh, God. I feel like the bike's going and it's not, it's the, it's the throttle look sticking. So I got to kind of like do that when I'm riding until I get it into the Harley shop. I just don't have time right now. Got to love that Harley warranty. All right, guys. So let's button this up and uh, let's see where we can go. Hey guys, she is all set and ready to go on the next ride. So thank you for hanging out with Paul and I while we fix this air ride. And again, thank you for subscribing. Please hit that bell so you can see all the next videos that I have coming up. And um, again, until the next one, catch you on the next ride.